Hi everyone, my name is Sam Gee, and today we are going to be talking a little bit about real estate. Essentially, what is real estate? What does a real estate agent do? And how to make money in real estate? So first off, we're going to talk about how real estate works. So real estate is essentially the profit made off of buying and or selling property, um, as well as how much money you can make as a real estate agent with that commission, but we'll get into that later. Um, there are four types of real estate and four types of property that you can get into as a real estate agent. Uh, the first one being residential, you know, that's domestic living, most homes, condos, townhomes, as well as different rental properties. The second one is called commercial. Now commercial has to do with producing an income. So those are offices, stores, restaurants, hotels, and different businesses. Uh, this can be seen when you see an empty building, say in a downtown or, you know, out in uh, a mall, something like that. Um, businesses will buy or investors may buy that or stores may buy that property in order to have their store there, if that makes sense. Uh, the third one is called industrial. Now, industrial has to do with mainly manufacturing. So this is factories, warehouses, and even research facilities. So the large warehouses for like Amazon, um, trucking facilities, um, Coca-Cola, it's close to Boise. Um, all of these are having to do with an industrial type real estate. And the last one is called land. Land in, is kind of what it is. It's no structures, uh, essentially just either flat land, reclaimed sites, or even farms and ranches that maybe somebody bought back in the olden days before the uh, city started growing exponentially and their land where they live is worth a lot of money. Uh, some investors will wanna buy that land in order to produce uh, a business there. Moving on, we're gonna be talking about the market. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, what's the market? Isn't that like the market? No, no, unfortunately, that's not the market we're talking about today. We're going to be talking about the real estate market. The real estate market, in a sense, is all the property for sale within that given area or within the given area, city, or town that you're looking at. Now, when it comes to the market, the market can rise due to the prices, and it can also fall due to the economic influence within that city and or area and the force within that area. So what that means is if a family is doing well, I'm going to go down to my third point here. If a family is doing well, the market will be doing well. It's kind of going back and forth is if that family is doing well, they're prospering, they're giving back within the economy of their city, then the market is going to be rising because that's a good place to be living at. We see that in Boise right now. Um, and I also see it uh, where my parents live down in California. Now, when people use the terms, oh, the market's up, the market's down, these the um, the terms that it'll be using to watch a rise and or fall within the market. Now, the market mainly consists of residential properties. Uh, it does not mainly consider, doesn't usually consist of uh, restaurants and different businesses within town that may be for sale. So moving on, what does it take to be a real estate agent? Now, my mom is a real estate agent and has been for the past 15 years. I've seen her have many late nights writing offers, talking to clients. Uh, I've been at a lacrosse game. Um, I used to play lacrosse when I was a kid. And, you know, growing up, she'd always leave the games to go show property to a client or talk to them on a phone call about, you know, a property that they want to be looking at that following week or the next day. Um, and moving to my third point, being on call 24-7, even on vacation. I have seen my mom step away from our vacation time. Even in Mexico, she'll get extra minutes on her phone just so she can keep in contact with her clients and make sure that their needs are met. Um, and that moves me on to my last point, which is going above and beyond for your clients. This is a huge one that not many real estate agents understand, at, that, at least that I've seen. Um, but you know, going above and beyond, making sure they get their full asking price for their home, making sure that they find an agent that they can work with to buy a home or you can work with them on buying a home, 
in the same area if they're not moving out of state. Um, but it is huge to be going above and beyond for your clients so they can give you good, um, I can't think of the word right now, um, comments, if you will, um, good feedback to other customers that may be looking to sell their home and need someone good to work with. Uh, well, now that that point's over, let's move to the next point. Um, the superheroes, real estate agents, as I was mentioning, but you know, it may take a superhero to be a real estate agent. And sometimes you're going to have late nights. So how much money does a real estate agent make and how does a real estate agent make money? Um, so first off, you have your commission. A commission is basically a percentage split between the buyer and the selling agents. So for an example that I wrote here, if a home sells for $200,000 with a 6% commission, then both of those agents split 12K down the middle. They each get $6,000. Um, so these rates and these commissions vary by area and also by the client. You can negotiate different um, commissions and different rates with your clients, depending on how much money you want to be making on that, but also show them that you're going to be putting this money back into their home in an effective manner, going off at of that point, you know, going above and beyond for your clients. Um, the average rates that I have seen, uh, especially through my research, have been 4.53% to 6.48%. Now, in some areas, it is strictly 5 to 6%. Um, in other areas, it it varies a lot. It's not a fixed rate. It's um, definitely a variable rate, um, which means that they're not really standardized. And the cool thing about being a real estate agent is there's zero capacity to making money on any home. Like you don't get a salary, you don't get an hourly. It is strictly based off commission. How much money you put into it is how much money you're going to pull out of it. Now, my last point is how to make money with a home. Let's say you're 27 or in your 30s, you just bought your first home. How can I make money with this home, even though I'm paying you know, a mortgage on it, even though I'm paying this, even though I'm paying that? It seems like such a huge price, I'd rather rent. Well, here are some things that you can do when you own a home. Now, the first point I wanna bring up is equity, which is basically home, appreci home appreciation. Now, what this means is, say I bought a home for $500,000. Now, I have that home for three to four years, and within that time, the market has risen a lot. The market's up. It's firing. There's people wanting to sell their houses. There's people buying a lot of houses in our area or the area that I live in. And I go to a real estate agent and ask them, hey, how much is my house worth? Well, currently it's worth $700,000. That would mean I have a $200 equity within that home. Now, the next point I want to bring up is a rental on site. So what that means is either renting out a room within your house or having a, um, a guest home in the backyard. I've seen that in many homes here in the Bay Area of California. Um, and then living in college, you know, we're always renting out rooms um, to friends and or family if they need it. Uh, which brings me to my last point, which is having rental properties. So two points or two, you know, things that most people know of are Airbnb and Verbo. These are ways that you can basically stay at somebody's house for a percentage. Um, now, when it comes to that, you can be making ten to thirty thousand dollars off of one property, and say you have multiple properties. Say you have ten properties, and you're making that thirty thousand dollars every year. That's a good payout just for having that passive income for a home. So having that passive income, using your home, um, even like a cabin in the woods or something like that, um, it's huge. Or having a summer home and a winter home and somebody can, you know, rent it out or you can rent it out and somebody can live there for the three, four months that you're out or out of town. So in conclusion, overall, we went over what real estate is how the market works and what the market is and how real estate agents make their money on selling their homes. I hope you all found this presentation quite interesting. And if, you know, some of these points bored you, then, you know, maybe real estate isn't for you. But if some of these points I brought up interest you, I strongly advise you to look up on YouTube is a great resource. Um, 
but even just like asking around maybe at different um parties with your parents uh, that's what i do i talk to my uh my family friends about what they do and i get to learn so much about their uh, industries but if you have any friends that are real estate agents or you want to learn more definitely do some research on it it is a great industry to be in and especially right now the market's hot in boise in california and a lot of different areas so if you want to get into it now's the time thank you all for listening and i hope you have a great week go broncos